Just jump on this car, jump over the, over the wall. Keep going, keep going. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Dying Light. Our current mission is airdrop. We're going to go contact the GRE first via the radio, just to give them a quick update on um because we've identified Brecken. So we're going to let them know if he's the guy or not we're looking for. And also we're going to meet um, Jade in the place to call the cauldron. First things first, let's make this call. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. Alright, so there's an airdrop coming in soon. We're going to meet Jade and she's going to um, show us how we would obtain one. Crane, three quarters of all airdrops fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. On my way. Alright, so it looks like we're approaching the cauldron district. Apparently, most airdrops do land here. Oh, that was a bad jump. <laughs> I was trying to. I didn't sprint. Oh, good job! I didn't land on those spikes, isn't it? Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. <laughs> We've got a parachute there with some red smoke coming off of it. We've also got a lock picking box here, so we'll do this lock pick box. Then we'll make our way towards the um, that parachute. It's lockpicking is not that difficult, really. <laughs> Plain pipe and coffee. We've been finding quite a lot of coffee. So we need to make our way up there. Alright, so if we look at this same side, there's a plank going across. So I think if we climb this building first, we should. I'm gonna, if, even if we jump across here. There we go. That was easier. Easier than getting on that roof and then making our way across. I um, just want to quickly check in here, see if there's anything useful. There's a box. Lock picking hard. I think we'll leave that for now. Don't want to fail too much on a um, breaking lock in um, picks. So I think we can jump on this roof. The top of the parachute now. Here we go. It's a dead body. <laughs> what have we got? Fucking hell. Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. box lock picked. It's always good to use these just to um, get the goodies, you know, better weapons and all that stuff. So, we need to get, do we need to get on the roof to um, actually investigate? Oh, I think the drop is actually up there, isn't it? Oh, we were up there a second ago. I think we can still jump up there if we go this way. There we go. So on the roof now, we've got the supply drop. Nothing here. It's already been looted. We've got another one coming in though, it looks like. That's good. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Alright, let's do this. Shit, too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. Okay, okay. Fuck. Okay, don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. That's actually the safe house that we got earlier. <laughs> so, um, apparently we're not going for that one because there's guys there. Must have guns, be pretty dangerous. <laughs> All we've got is a, um, a steel pipe. So there's not much we can do, really, to take that off them. 
It's a bit silly, really, that we're going out alone as well. You know, there's a group of us, apparently, with guns. Just in the tower, you can see guys with guns and all that. But everyone's staying inside. Crane, it's too close to sunset. You need to turn back now. Jane, I'm almost there. I can do this. So we can see the red smoke here. We are close to the drop. It's just over this side, I think. So the sunset is setting. The sun is setting, excuse me. So um, we've got to be quick. Hope that we're not stuck outside at night time. Could we jump across here? Should be down here somewhere. I think it's anywhere in this area. And there we have it. There are a few, a few zombies though surrounding it, so we'll have to take these guys out, I think. Keep them at back, keep them back. As long as, as long as they're on the floor as well. You know, you can deal with them pretty easy. Just get, knock them off balance, you know. Need to get a better weapon soon as well. This weapon is quite weak, you know. And you see how many times you have to hit them. I think you can upgrade weapons to be pretty damn, pretty damn powerful. With upgrades and like modifications and all that stuff. So we'll loot these bodies while we're here. Now we need to salvage the vials of Antizin. Hopefully this has got Antizin inside. to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Oh my god. So we're going to destroy all this Anderson. There's, there's crap loads of it as well in there. Look how many is in one box. There's like, there's about six boxes in there. So we're going to destroy it. Oh my god. This is, this is silly. Well, it's not silly. There's a plan behind it. But, you know, it's painful to do this. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no Antis in here. Okay. Uh, ugly. Okay, so they're what we call nightmares, it seems. Um, nightmare. Night is coming. Agility and power are doubled. Okay, so power points are doubled. Okay. It's kind of like GTA. I had one in the cops. Okay, they're right behind me. Oh my god, the guys just came out the back of a van. Need to just keep running. Oh, he's on my face. Holy shit. Need to turn the flashlight on as well so we can see where we're going. Just run, 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 run. Oh my god, this is um, stressful. <laughs> no, uh, all we, the only thing we don't need now is our stamina running low. Pin them right on, right on my tail as well. Just gotta keep going, keep going. Just jump on this car, jump over the, over the wall. Keep going, keep going. And there's one that I just run right into one, I think. <laughs> Let's just climb this quickly. Go, 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 go. There's one right in front of us! Ah! Looks like we're right next, to, right next to the tower though, so we we may have made it. Okay, this side. Nice. Pursuit evaded. Nice. So they don't go inside the door. Maybe because of the UV light on the doorway. So, night gameplay. Agility and power points are doubled at night. Escaping a pursuit gives you a big agility points boost. The longer you play outside of safe zones, the more survival rank points you get. So there is a there is a, um, a good reason to play at night time, although it is so dangerous. Look at that, this then. I couldn't do anything. Maybe if you lose sight of them, you can like stealth around. So um, we need to go. Where's the? There we go. <laughs> a bit disorientated there. 
So we need to update him. Jade on the supply box having no answers in. So it's time to get Breck and the bad news. Brecken, come on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... I'll go. Are you serious? Well... This Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? Has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Alright, so we completed the mission. Supply drop. Next mission is meeting with Rice. So uh, because he doesn't know our face, we can go in there, maybe pretend that we're not part of the tower. But we'll do that in the next part, guys, because it is the start of a new mission. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.